150th birthday of Jose Lobero's Dream, an opera house in 1873 which put Santa Barbara on the entertainment map. This year we're celebrating the 100th birthday, I know it's confusing, of this masterpiece, this building by George Washington Smith and Luda Maria Riggs, which was voted last year by Architectural Digest magazine as one of the most beautiful theaters in the world. Actually, number 11. They didn't do a top 10 list, they did a number 11 list, and we came in number 11, so we were pretty grateful. This little stage behind me has had an outsized influence on the course of American culture over the past 100 years. Legends have been born here. 23-year-old Bing Crosby performing in the Lobero's first and almost certainly only midnight matinee. Tyrone Power, Clark Gable, Humphrey Bogart, Ingrid Bergman, all starting their careers here on the stage before they became movie stars. Santa Barbara! W.C. Fields! W.C. Fields in 1902, when he was a juggler, he was a world-class juggler, of all things. But it hasn't been a smooth ride, and to be honest, it's something of a miracle that we're all here today celebrating our 100th birthday. For our first 75 years, the Lobero really, really struggled to make a to make a, to make it work by focusing just on plays. Between 1924 and 1999, 60 percent of the events here were plays, and during that time, 22 different theater companies were formed to try to make a go of theater, and none of them succeeded for more than a couple of years. Things were looking really, really dire until the mid-1990s when the Lobero Dream Team arrived to save the day. And that Dream Team, some of, most of whom are here, David Asbell, Marianne Clark, Todd Jared, Jim Doherty, I don't know if Jim's here. And board member of Council